And that's how she rode, guys. Blown motor. Got a blown motor already. <sighs> well, we knew that shit was coming. Blown motor, guys. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ugh. I did a pull. Felt kind of sluggage. You guys can see there. There's the oil. Well, it is what it is, guys. And it just arrived, guys. Alrighty, guys, so the motor just arrived, man, and I've been waiting a long time for this moment to happen. And it's finally here. Took a little bit of time, but it's here, guys. We're gonna do the unboxing and take a look at the new motor for the sked pack. Alrighty, guys, so here's the box. I already cut the little tight straps that come around it. So I'm about to take it off and we're gonna see it. All right, so here it is, guys. It's pretty well wrapped up, so I'm gonna cut it up here in just a bit. And I can't wait to see this long block, guys. Like I said, I've been waiting a long time, but I just want to see that Whipple 3.0 right on top. So we're going to make good power now. Man, this is a new motor for the Scat Pack, and this one will hold power now. So this is uh, a BGE block base 392, forged pistons, forged rods, forged crank, uh, stock heads, custom cam for boost. Um, I bought this motor from High Horse Performance, guys. These guys gave me the best price. I didn't pay any core charges, nothing like that. And there it is, guys, a BGE block. And this thing looks really nice, guys. This thing looks really, really nice. Can't wait to get this thing on the car. Just hear the cam, That's I'm more excited about that, guys, just hear the cam. But here it is, man. I just imagine the 3 old Whipple on top. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We're gonna make a lot of power. A lot of power, guys. Give you guys a close up. We got everything um, from the push rods to the lifters, everything forged and ready. Hellcat oil pump. I mean, this thing's gonna be good for 1200 horsepower, 1100 wheel horsepower. So I won't be pushing it that far, maybe because I still have to build my transmission, guys. So I still got to build the transmission, um, axles, drive shaft, you name it, guys. But for now, this is what I just needed, it, guys. It took me a little bit of time, guys, but I mean, the price they gave me was freaking amazing, guys. Um, like I said, I was gonna buy a 426 uh, stroker motor from another uh, very well-known company. The thing is, we had settled at 15,600 shipped to the house. That's a long block. And after I sent them 5,000 bucks down uh, to start the project, well, they, like two weeks prior to that, they sent me another email that the prices have gone up on the pistons, rods, crank, all that kinds of stuff, ARP studs and all that stuff. So I told them, okay, well, send me the invoice for whatever the, the extra charge is. And that went from 15,600 to 22,000. So I was like, you know what, that's too much money. So we just left it there. I needed to get this car running like the way it is. It's been like that for a couple of months now, um, but like I said, it's her priorities. But I did bought the Whipple, guys, the 3 Whipple. I got a good price on it as well. On the motor from High Horse Performance, these guys are amazing, guys. Because I, I called a lot of shops, guys, a lot of people that big Mopar people. And uh, these guys were the best. They gave me the best prices. I didn't have to pay any core charges, nothing like that. Um, and I, they basically told me, what do you want to do? And I told them, at least I just want to have at least 850, 900 to the wheel, something that's going to be reliable. And they're like, oh, we'll get you, we can get you this combo. So they're pistons, they're rods, ARP studs on the bottom, comedic gaskets on the heads, and stock heads for now. I mean, the stock heads flow really amazing on these. Aftermarket cam, like I said, all the, all the push rods, all the everything, it's, it's uh, already ready, forged to make power. For now, I'm going to leave it with a stock boost, guys, because I got to upgrade my fuel system as well, guys. So, I mean, this is a good platform. I mean, the way I mean the way this car was running, guys, you guys seen it. Just tuned Catalyst, 1150s all day, having traction issues. So, I'm going to flip the camera, guys, show you something a little bit. Other oh, little stuff I got to do to it. So, another thing I'm going to have to do, guys, I'm going to have to pin the crank for the new Whipple. So, I'm going to do that once I'm already here. Then I'm going to put on my, well, first on my timing covers and all that new gaskets and everything I got. Transfer all my old sensors to this one, guys, especially the 12 bolt source one that heats the motor when it's really cold. So, uh, we're going to have to do that. 
I'm waiting on the oil filter housing adapter and on the oil pickup tube line. I don't purchase those new guys because on the other one, there's like a couple of shavings there. I don't want to mess none of that. So I'm still waiting for those guys, but this was the most important thing. Now the motor's here. It looks really, really nice, guys. And by the way, this is a BGE block, like I said, but this is a brand new block for 5,000 something on their webpage. And uh, after we did the extras on it, the Hellcat uh, oil pump, um, all that kinds of stuff, the pistons and everything came out to 12,005 bucks shipped to my house. So, I mean, that's not bad, guys. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't bad. Let me flip the camera here. Something else I forgot to mention, guys. This is like people say it's a blueprinted motor. It's everything is well done by professional people, balance, ch uh, clearance check, everything's just perfect guys i will keep you guys posted as i keep on working with this motor and getting everything ready guys and dialed in so you guys can see it stay tuned subscribe and we're gonna keep it going guys thank you appreciate every single one of you guys